All right, man, Torture Talk. Like, share, subscribe to the page. Good morning, good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good people. Good morning. Good morning. It's a great morning. Yesterday was absolutely crazy, and I ain't going to lie to y'all. Saddened me a little bit in my heart to see people go. You know what I'm saying? But, hey, man, this is what we're here for. we here to duke it out sometimes, and sometimes you just don't win the fight. So look, man, today's episode, good morning, if I ain't say good morning, good morning. Today's episode, we're going to be talking about Drake. Did he flop on no face? The video dropped. Most people don't even know. Most people don't even care. Did he actually flop? Before I get into that, you know I got to get my spill, my legendary spill. This is Torture Talk. If you like the content, please consider subscribing. If you're new here, let me work for your subscription today. All the beautiful, sexy ladies, put one in the chat. All the fellas, y'all know where to find the ones that just don't harass them. I don't sell no merch, but I do have content. Absolutely free. But if you want to leave a donation, links is on the screen. Cash app, PayPal is in the description. They call me the hidden gem. I went from 1,300 subscribers to over, to over 12,000 subscribers in a million by Monday morning. Let me know where you're from, too. I really appreciate everybody that running with me, riding with me, sticking with me. Somebody said in the comments, and it really touched me. They said, I don't always agree with you, but you are the only podcaster that I know that don't be trolling people in the comments. You literally want to have a conversation. Absolutely. Yes, I do. I don't always want to argue and fight. You have a disagreement? Tell me why. Inform me. You say I'm misinformed? Then inform me. Inform me. Let me know what the case is. I could look it up and we could debate it. And if you're right, I say you was right. No problem being corrected. That's what kings do. You know what I'm saying? But look, man, we're going to get into this. And uh, we'll be back, man. All right, man. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. This is 8 a.m. show. You know what it is. Let's keep it going, man. We're going to go into this. This comes from Marcus at Work. Y'all already know. Link's going to be in the description. Make sure y'all go follow that, man. Let's go. Pop Quiz, were you aware that Drake dropped a video to No Face on Halloween? I didn't even realize he dropped. And even while doing research for this video, looking on YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, the forums. I don't see too many people talking about it. You get your few. Yes. Um, so let's speak to that because I think that this, I think that Drake is, is uh, he's checking the temperature and checking the climate in the room. And I think that No Face, I believe that he believes that that song is enough for him to get back in the good graces of rap. Now, I will say this. The song is not that bad. It's okay. It's not that bad. Um, I don't think that it's anywhere near the level of what Kendrick was doing. But I understand why Drake is releasing these uh, subpar songs, but they're rap songs. You know what I'm saying? His flow is okay. I like his flow on the joint. But that's about it. He ain't really saying too, nothing too much. You know what I'm saying? And... He's saying a couple of things here and there. My therapist said, da, 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 da. you know what I'm saying? And I tell her, all I care about is beefing the bitches. No, you don't. No, you don't. You know what I'm saying? You you literally, you're literally a walking clown. You're a walking meme now, bro. That's what you are. And I know a lot of people, they want to root for Drake. They want Drake to come back. They want to fight for him. But I just think that Drake should just take a break. That's it. But then again, the way hip-hop is going, let's be honest here, the way hip-hop is going, a lot of people are just not interested anymore. You know what I'm saying? I know some people, they live and die by it, but let's be, let's be honest here. Is hip-hop really exciting like it used to be? Which artists are you excited for outside of Kendrick Lamar? What do you, who are you really, really excited for? Let me know in the comments. Like, who are you really excited for? Because a lot of times I think we, we look at popularity and we we kind of like trying to needle that together like stitch that together with actual songs that we say is okay because drake is so popular we'll think that because he's so popular that whatever song he dropped is actually fire and then you go back and listen to it 
six months to a year later, and you're like, yeah, it's just forgettable. You know what I'm saying? And I think the only reason why he brought up No Face, because this uh, this song came out like maybe about a month or two ago. You know what I'm saying? And he revisited the song because I think he thinks that this song is something that's going to get him to where he need to be. And it's really not. Really not. Stands out there that, you know, going to rock with it regardless. But the amount of chatter going on about this video snippet or trailer, whatever you want to call it, hasn't been that much not compared to what we're used to with drake drops so is this an indication of the k dot experience drastically affecting drake in his career you know another thing too that i think that i think that the weakest link will always pop the chain and I think a lot of people, when it comes to Drake, they look at him in his video as the weakest link. So everybody around him could be, they could be hard, thorough, strong dudes, but he's the weak link and, and he's the fake link. And that's how stuff, stuff gets broken, pop. All I'm trying to say is people looking at this video and they're not tuned on, I mean, turned on by it because they're looking at a bunch of dudes who is trying to be hard. This is what this video looks like. This video looks like, like someone, I don't know, it, 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 to me, it just looks like it's been staged. This looks like a set on a movie. This looks like, I know it's exactly what it looks like. This looks like an infomercial inside of a, inside of a hood movie. Like somebody's watching TV and this comes on as one of the infomercial songs. This is what that looked like to me. You know what I'm saying? All these dudes in this video, nobody has no personality. You don't know none of these dudes. Some people probably know some of their names, but you don't know none of these dudes. You know what I'm saying? And it just looks like a soft dude surrounding himself with a bunch of so-called or even gangster dudes. That's what it looked like. And it looks corny. Now, uh, uh, what they call that? Uh, cinematically it looks it looks nice the color it looks nice the way the angles of the cameras look it looks nice but when you look into it it just looked like it's a cosplay it looks like a, a it looks like something that they staged even though we know that's what they did but it don't supposed to look like that you know what i'm saying it just looks like it's like yeah this is eh, i don't know i don't know Maybe so. But let's take a look at what people are saying about this No Face release. Ain't this funny how this immediately washed every Kendrick song that he put out? In terms of how good it sounds sonically, the extra no. Try to deny that. So who really the better artist? I don't give a who can say any money mo better. I don't care about that shit. I care about who make better music. I don't care about that shit at all. And this is another, this is how these, this is how these corny dudes do, right? These corny dudes. It's another corny dude. Tell me this doesn't sound better than everything Kendrick's ever done in the last joints he ever done. Tell me now. Tell me now. I'm like, you're going to jump through the screen and fight somebody. Like, it's so crazy to me how you dudes defend Drake. Kendrick ain't say nothing. The, do you know how Drake lost? And you know how when people constantly keep talking about Kendrick, Kendrick ain't say nothing about Drake. He ain't say nothing. The fans keep this thing going, and they keep that loss going. Every time you think that Drake has, has healed from that wound, you got guys like this who literally rip the wound open. I would love to debate this dude. If anybody know this dude, please tell him. I, would want, I want to debate him when it comes to this, when it comes to Kendrick and Drake, because some of y'all opinions, I mean, it'd be outlandish. I respect your opinion, but. Some of y'all opinions be outlandish. I'm talking like out of control outlandish. The fuck? My biggest pet peeve as a Drake fan is the first thing people say is, oh, well, do you like Kendrick? Like, yes, but I'm mad at him right now, okay? And y'all all shitting on Drake so hard? Like, y'all are coming for this man's throat. Really going to sit here and do this? Let me know. Are we going to sit here and do this? Wait a minute. Is this what we're going to sit here and do? 
I can't even clown you for wearing a banana, uh, John, because I like dressing up too. So I can't even clown you. I ain't gonna go. I ain't gonna go down that road. And be like, yo, look at this dude. He got a banana outfit. Look, he looks so stupid. I ain't gonna do that. I'm just gonna say your take is bad. And if you are saying that something sonically sounds better than something without actually listening to the words, then to me, you're totally disqualified from your opinion when it comes to hip hop music. You know what I'm saying? It, some people have a nice flow, but they say absolutely nothing. I'll give you a perfect example. I never been a big Busta Rhymes fan, but he could actually rap, but he did a song. I think it was a song with, uh, I think it was uh, Chris Brown. Look at me. He said absolutely nothing. And everybody went crazy for it. Every time. He said the same thing over and over again, like five times. You know what I'm saying? Now, it's it's amazing that somebody could flip their tongue and spit like that. That's cool. But you got to be able to be saying something. Lupe Fiasco rapped like that, but he always says something. He can rap fast. He always says something. You know what I'm saying? Let's keep it going. We going to act like Drake a bad artist? So it seems like a lot of rehashing the same as when the song initially dropped. I don't think that people are acting like Drake's a bad artist. I think people were just saying Drake fell off. He used to be extremely good. Now he's not as good as he used to be. He's nowhere near as good as he, he used to be. I think this is a... This this song, No Face, is a, it's a little glimmer of hope for y'all. But overall, I mean, he, he dropped like 16 tracks. And they all kind of got a booty trash. Like, let's be clear here. You got people that liked the video. He was all through the mall with the Escalade and the cars. And he got some goons with him. It just looks like the video just look fake. It just looks like y'all, it's a bunch of wannabe tough guys. That's what the video looks like to me. It's a, there's no substance to this video. And I think at this point in Drake's career, and I think y'all need to hear this, at this point in Drake's career, he should be making music that means something. This means absolutely nothing. This dude is pointing his finger like he's going to shoot something. It's like, what are we doing here? Y'all let him get away with it. He needs to be checked when it comes to this type of music. Do something that is going to make people think, bro. Drake is not a stupid dude, but I'm going to tell y'all why. I'll save that for the end. I'll tell y'all exactly why Drake don't ever do music on anything conscious or anything that's meaningful. I'm going to tell y'all why. And this is the I'm trying to be hard Drake instead of the mulatto feelings Drake, which he hasn't learned anything because people are saying this is not the Drake. It's like, I get the whole point of no face. I get what he's saying. I know, I know exactly what you're saying when you say no face. I know where you're trying to go with it. I know exactly what you're saying. Everybody knows, well, not everybody, but I know exactly what you're talking about when you say no face. There's either two two reasons. One, you either showing up with no face, like a blank face, and people don't know who you are, or you're trying to delete somebody and leave them with no face. One or the other. That's it. So I understand. And you got these dudes in the video with their hands over their face. And you're riding through the mall and ask, come on, bro. This is so generic. Like, for real we actually want from your ass you not hard bro you not from the streets bro just go back to the pop stuff and get out the lane of hip-hop and you'll probably be all right but the longer you stay over here in the gangster drake lane you're gonna get a lot of criticism about what people feel with this we had all kind of had the same feelings about drake we all said you know we like drake a lot but we feel kind of like something's missing. Like, you know, Scorpion just wasn't what it was supposed to be. It just something felt like it was lacking there, right? And we all kind of agreed on the same point that like, it just felt like a, like he reached this point where he is, you know, rapping about, you know, money, woman, fame, how much he doesn't like women, 
uh, and how many haters he has, right? It just kind of felt like that. And I was kind of like, yeah, I, that's kind of how I feel. So Now, he does do that. There's a reason why Drake does that. And I'll tell y'all why in a second. But he's absolutely right. During Scorpion, it just, it, to me, there's no growth. He hasn't grown as an artist. He knows exactly what you do to certain, a certain demographic. You know what I'm saying? Let's keep going. What do you guys make of this? Is this a good move for Drake? People were kind of speculating, is this him kind of gearing up for round two, even though K-Dot said no round twos? Will he be bold enough to throw out another diss? Will he be bold enough to continue on trying to taunt Kendrick at this point? I wouldn't recommend it personally, but we know, we know Drake, like Trump, do not listen to the people around him. They just go off on a tangent, do whatever they want to do, and look confused when people got a problem with him. So put your comments below. Let's talk about it. This is Marcus at Work Media, and I'm out this bitch. All right. Make sure I go follow Marcus at Work. So here's the thing, man. This is what I believe. The reason why Drake hasn't grown as an artist is because he hasn't grown as a man. He's still living his he's still living out his young, his young, uh, I don't want to say teenage years, but more of his young man years. I think that Drake was never raised to be a man. You know what I'm saying? And this is the reason why he's so hurt when it comes to women. Now, he can get he could discard women fast, but He's one of those people that like to harbor women. So even if he discard them, he feels as though he still have, a, have some type of tie to ownership to them. You know what I'm saying? And he's going to speak how he feels on it. So let's take Rihanna, for example. Rihanna has two kids by ASAP Rocky, and she's married. And Drake is still commenting and talking on her. Years later, years later, Holly Berry. Holly Berry never messed with Drake. He always been obsessed with her. And as soon as she tells him she don't want to have nothing to do with him, he does things and says things that's just out of pocket. Serena Williams. They had a little fling or whatever, and what happened? Now he talks crazy about her and her husband. He has no regard for people, and he likes to disrespect people when it comes to how he feels. You know what I'm saying? That's just what it is. So he's he's definitely a man child. That's what y'all gotta understand. I dealt with I've worked with psych patients for a long time. And I picked up a lot of things uh from 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 the doctors that I talked to for years. And they told me, they taught me a lot about the psyche. You know what I'm saying? They taught me a lot. And sometimes I can understand why my words penetrate people so badly. And it's not that I, I'm doing it on purpose or trying to get a reaction out of people. It's more on the lines of sometimes you need to hear the brutal truth. That's just what it is. And I think that Drake surrounds himself with a bunch of thug yes men. And nobody wants to tell him the brutal truth. Because I could almost guarantee you if Drake was, if, if any of these dudes that surround Drake, if they're real, like real niggas, and they say, look, bro, I'm going to tell you what it is. Here's what it is. Because if I was Drake's friend, if I was Drake's friend, I would have basically said to him, like, don't battle Kendrick. That's career suicide. And even though I know Drake, everybody's saying, well, Drake's staying 10 tones down. He's supposed to. That's what, This is hip hop. I would have said that to him. And if he said, no, I'm doing it, then I would have said, well, you have to have a better strategy. You can't just attack this man. You have to. Don't attack him personally. Just outwrap him. Try your best. Because even if you make it close, people are going to say you won. That's, that's what it is. People are going to say you won even if you make it close. Because it ain't going to be close. It wasn't going to ever be close. And I think Kendrick wanted it to go that far. He wanted it to go to the point where you talk them disrespectful. Because I'm just waiting for that. So I think that Drake, he's a man child. And he never grew up. And the reason why, another reason why Drake don't ever talk about social things or social justice or things like that is because he's never been through that life. He don't know how it is. 
I mean, we could all say Drake's black. We could all say Drake's mixed. We could all say Drake's this and that. But Drake, Drake is living a story of someone else's writing. And what I mean by that is somebody else is narrating Drake's life. This whole video, no face, that's a narration from someone else. He never been through nothing like that before. He never been, he never been through shootouts. He don't know what, what bullet wound scars feel like. He don't know none of that. He don't know, he don't know about people actually really close to him getting murked. He don't know about that. He don't know about getting raided. But yet and still, the type of behavior he display is glorification of it. But why we why we accept that? Because it's Drake. You know what I'm saying? Why do we accept that? I'll give you another example. The weekend. Weekend is a real one. He's from the streets. You know what I'm saying? He was doing his thing. He from the streets. That's just the bottom line. So if he was to talk about something like that, I wouldn't even be mad, even though he's a pop star, because he's from that. He from that cloth. You know what I'm saying? This guy here, he's not from that cloth. This is why he can't talk about social issues and things like that. He can never talk about that because he's not from that cloth. Y'all could be, and some of y'all not from it either. And he kind of caters to y'all with it because y'all okay with it, but y'all not from it either. A good portion of y'all not from the hood. Y'all don't know nothing. I'm not saying y'all stupid. I'm just saying y'all don't know how it is to grow up in, in, uh, in, in low-income housing. Y'all don't know about that. You don't. But yet and still, this guy promotes, uh, he promotes glorification of criminology. This is what this is. There's no point to it. Now, if there was a point to this video, you know what I'm saying? If there was a point to it, then I could be like, okay, even when he had, even when he talking about the therapist, you know what I'm saying? He could have did, he could have did something. I could have gave him a great idea for this video. He could have act like he was a serial killer. You know what I'm saying? And he could have did something where it's, um, he, he leaving people in his, even people in his way with no face. And he's talking to his therapist throughout the whole thing. And he's laying on the couch explaining it, but the visuals are showing him setting people up, doing things. To me, I would have respected that even more. I would have been like, yeah, that's a fire video. You know what I'm saying? But the video didn't even go with the song. Just a bunch of people riding around in, in, in uh, 120, one, uh, 120 FPS, like real slow. Do, 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 do. And it's like, come on, bro. What are we doing here? He is incapable of talking about social issues because he never been through it. You would never hear... Drake rap about social issues. He'll touch on it a little bit. Maybe if somebody get killed by a police officer or something, he'll say something like that. But that's not that's not digging deep into the social climate of of racial injustice. He would never do that. He would never do it. But either way, man, thank y'all for being here with me this morning. Hey, man, I'm sorry. I know I made some people upset yesterday, but I love y'all anyway, man. And it is what it is. You know what it is, man. So look. 12 o'clock show coming up. I'll see y'all, man. Peace. Bye. <laughs>